taken. Um, today we're going to do a couple of things. I've got a little bit of time I can get ready, but um, what we're going to be doing today is showing you my boxy charm that I ordered. Sorry for my looking up like that. I'm going to show you the boxy charm that I ordered. Um, now, if you've never done boxy charm before, I'll kind of explain it as I go. Um, but I think your very first box is basically just a generic box they got sitting on a shelf someplace. It's not actually picked for you. Um, but then afterwards, any any subsequent months that you order boxy charm, um, it is made for you. It's stuff, things are pulled to your preferences and things like that. So let me show you my boxy charm, and then we're gonna put some some makeup on. Um, it's Easter Sunday, and I'm heading to family here shortly. So. Um, Let's pull out Boxy Charm. I'll show you the box, then I'll show you the card, and then we'll go from there. This is called Boxy Charm. Hey, Mia Paula fans! Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Now, what Boxy Charm is? It's, this, it's a monthly subscription. You can you can do as many or as few as you want, and um, this one is the small box. This is the regular size box. $25 a month plus I'll take a dollar and change in tax you get in this one you are guaranteed five full-size products for $25 a month um, they run the gambit of brands um, there's not too many brands that you will not find on um, on their website when you are doing your little quiz thing um, so let me show you real quick what I've got in here um, let me get my card out first they send you a card and each month is a little, at least the card, is um, geared more towards the month that you're receiving your products in. And on the back it tells you what your products are, how much they're actually worth. Now I will preface this by saying, usually when you order your first box, you get a free item in here. And I didn't, I got, a, I got an actual palette. I think it was more geared towards the St. Patrick's Day, you know, what's going on uh, with this month. Um, but, okay, so, the first one and I'm just going to go through um, what is on the card here then I'll show you the free palette I got so the first one is called Lime Crime Venus 3 palette uh, 3 eyeshadow palette um, and this is has an MSRP of $38 it comes in this protective little thing here this is the picture on the front Venus 3 and even though it says, oh, I see what it says, Venus 3 eyeshadow palette, I'm thinking 3 eyeshadows now. But these are super pretty colors. Now, um, from, let's see here, we can show them to you real quick. This is Dreamy, Beam, now that's a shimmer. This one is Heavenly and Rapture, those are both shimmers. This is another shimmer down here, this is be loved bliss paradise and uh, ecstasy these are super pretty colors these are colors i actually would wear so they really did a good job picking out this palette for me um 38 dollars is what that palette runs um our next one i'm not sick i got super bad allergies it's been so windy here lately and it is spring in florida and everything's blooming so forget my sniffles <laughs> Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisturizing Cream. I used this yesterday. I was going out of town. I knew I'd be wearing it for the whole day before I wash my face. And this stuff is super great. Um, Shut oh, my I'll show you this real fast. This stuff, MSRP is $39. Comes in this little box. See the bananas. Um, comes in this little pot like this. And then I actually took the little stopper out. It actually, um, I didn't get a chance to put this back in tomorrow. Oh, yes, I mean, but since it's a little protective stopper, I'll put it back in now. Looks and smells like banana pudding. I mean, look at that color. The color is just incredible. And it really felt great on my face. Um, so, sorry about a small pause. So, yeah, this stuff smells and looks like banana pudding. But don't eat it. But it did make my face feel great yesterday. I could feel the moisture left on my face even after the whole day of traveling. And uh, it didn't make me break out. What little bit of you know, imperfections and stuff you see there's just from wearing a stupid mask. 
get my first dose on Tuesday. Oh boy. Um, so yeah. Next is Maven Beauty Maven Rose Water Setting Spray. It looks like this. This is, oh, that um, glow recipe is 1.7 fluid ounces. This stuff is 3.38 fluid ounces. Rose Water Setting Spray. Um, $22 is the MSRP. Um, this stuff has, honestly, I'm not trying to use it because I don't, don't have makeup on my mom, but this stuff has a very light rose scent to it. Almost smelled like yesterday that it had some sort of cinnamon hint to it. Um, but unfortunately the ingredients are way too small for these eyeballs to read without my glasses on. Yes, I wear glasses. Oh, where are we at next? KAB Cosmetics Hydrating Lip Oil. Um, it's this here. Um, this MSRP is $20. It says, say goodbye to dry and thirsty and hello to juicy. Hydrated lips. Your lips will love this non-sticky instant burst of hydration that comes in six different tents. Swipe this formula on for comfortable, juicy lip um, lips all day long. It does MSRP for 20 bucks. It is blue raspberry. Um, we'll swatch a little bit of this on my, my hand here. See? Um, it actually is, has zero tint to it that goes on. Um, it smells like coconut. Let me see. It doesn't have coconut in it. course all kinds of stuff and no one even knows what they're saying um, but even though it smells like coconut there is apparently no coconut in this unless uh, coconut is um, abbreviated someplace in something and last but not least is the um, billion dollar brows clear brow gel this flake-free formula sets in seconds with a gentle hold to keep your eyebrows in place and on point. 18 bucks for this stuff. Um, oh, sorry, the lip oil is, does it say? Hmm, let's see if it says the size that it is. Um, that's the lip oil, but it does not tell you how much well, net weight 0.2 ounces, I believe it says. So there we go. And here's the million dollar brow gel. Um, this is $18. Um, I believe when I added it up the day I got this, it was like $138 for everything. Um, this is six milliliters of just over a teaspoonful of um, brow gel in here. It is clear. Um, so when you put it on, I can probably go ahead and put it on my, my brows. My brows are, obviously I am blonde, so my brows are super blonde. Um, but feels good. I actually use a brow gel off and on as a tinted one for blondes. Um, if you have blonde hair, you will know what I'm fixing to say is that sometimes um, products that are made for a specific hair color, especially uh, blondes, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Sometimes it just winds up being too dark. This brow gel is vegan, cruelty free, and paraben free. Um, the lip oil does say cruelty free. The glow recipe does say Got a picture of an animal, so I guess I'll say this is um, cruelty free as well. Um, okay, so let's go to. Oh, and this, the rose spray is vegan, it says. Um, and how about the. This one says cruelty free as well on it. I just want to say that little symbol I'm saying also means vegan. Now here's the free palette I got. The palette is from a company called Hip Dot. Uh, 
animal tested free and vegan, uh, paraben free, talc free, mineral oil free. Um, this is called C Note. Hip dot C Note. Um, look at these beautiful colors. Uh, lots of shimmers in here. Um, several mattes too. A lot more shimmers than mattes. But that's okay. Um, the ones that are mattes are, are awesome. Um, so, I have a little bit of time before I have to leave. So why don't we do a face? Again, this was $138. Oh, this palette here, I believe I looked it up, it's $33 for this palette. Um, it's either $33 or $38. I believe it was $33. So, let's put on a face. Um, so, for my primer, we're going to go in with the um, Elf Poreless Putty Primer. You know, especially the potty primers try to do in the areas that have fine lines. Um, my skin is actually quite good when it comes to the lines, so I really don't have too much to mask there. So I'm gonna rub that in really good. I'm super excited for to start getting these monthly. Um, so I'm gonna try and do at least a monthly, but. Um, monthly box um, video. Uh, hopefully I'm also going to be doing more videos. I just, it's been crazy lately. My mom, my um, best friend's mom just passed away two days ago, so. Next, what did I do with, oh, here we go. We're gonna go in with the Believe Beauty Cashmere. There we go. Um, so, let's pump that onto my hand. too much what I might do to my neck we'll see um because I'm just going to go see family but in fact when I'm going to see my family they're probably going to wonder why do you have makeup on funny I just washed my sponge my beauty blender here before I um started this video <laughs> that kind of smells Smells like the soap that I use to clean it with. Now, if y'all don't follow me on TikTok, my handle's the same over there. Um, come on over and follow me. You can follow me on Instagram as well, the same. Um, my handle is like Neapolitan underscore gal. Oh links are down, down in the uh, description anyway, but um, I am going to start a weight loss journey. Um, I follow several people on TikTok that have lost incredible amounts of weight, um, and it's my turn. I want to lose somewhere in the 100 pound range, but I can go more, even better. Um, and with you guys keeping me accountable, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, so share my channel if you know anybody who's really into watching that type of content. That's going to be the content that will be on here for quite a while now. Um, coming up. So now what we're going to do is um, I have an e.l.f. concealer, um, my e.l.f. concealer, I'm just going to go under here like that, go back to that doe foot. Oh that's what I really liked that lip oil, I haven't tried it yet but it's got a huge doe foot on it so it's not like this tiny little thing that you're trying to work with. It's actually got a really nice doe foot um, on it. So. Alright. Put it back over there. And let's blend this out.
Now the Believe Beauty that I use is um, Skin Finish Foundation Medium to Full Coverage. And as you can tell, it covered up my little zits there pretty good. Yes, I do have my hair pulled back when I'm down here. I'll take my hair down so you can see my hair. But right now it's pulled back. Um, contour. This is the Pharmacy Makeup Contour Stick. Um, and you know, I'm not real sure of the color it was. Uh, but there's a, there's a link in my description for my pharmacy store. And you can pick it up from there. I usually like to do this and then come down here. <laughs> so I made homemade mac and cheese just now. And uh, I can hear my son and I'm getting into it. I made two pans. One to take to my brother's house on the lawn. I made a second pan for us here. Um, my son, husband, and I. So I followed into my son and took it out. I said, I said, there's a mac and cheese just came out. You can, eat, you can get some, but you have to get it out of a smaller container. So I can hear him out there beating the spoon <laughs> on it. Get the last little bit off the spoon. Now I'm filming this um, almost 4 o'clock Easter Sunday. Uh, if you do not see this until Monday, I'm sorry. I do have commitments this afternoon, so this all depends on if I get home and get my uh, editing software downloaded onto my new computer. Uh, if I can get all that done still have time to edit my video this evening, I will certainly do that for you guys. Okay, so blusher! Okay, so this is the blusher I use. Wet n Wild blush um, and pearlescent pink. It's actually more like a peachy color and I really love this color. There we go. And what I do is I take the butt end of my beauty blender, beauty sponge, and just twist it. And then do this. My girlfriend who just lost her mom on Friday. She has rosacea and she's like, I don't use um, blush because my face is already red, so I'm trying to get rid of the red and add more to it, which is perfect. A little bit down the nose, a little bit on the forehead maybe. Alright. Out over there. I'm moving stuff from one side of my desk to the other one. Um, things out way more or less. Alright, so what do we want to do? I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Um, it's this here. Um, I think I got that on sale and I don't think I can like, change at Walgreens. It has a slight tint to it. But it is so slight they don't even tell you what the tent is supposed to be. So let's so do that. And rub that on my lids. That and rub that on my lids over here. Alright. So I'm gonna let that set for a minute. While that is setting, let's put that back. Well line. Um so Donna, what are we lining with today? Yes. I'm not sure I'm gonna get a couple different products out here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do my brows first. Now, before I get the brow gel in, so this stuff, I'm not sure how this will work. Um, this is the e.l.f. Um, Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Now, this is one of those products I say that, you know, it says it's blonde but it's nothing for natural levels. And as you can see why I say it's not made for natural levels, is how dark it is. 
I am a blondie blondie. Of my, my arm hairs are so blonde they're white. But that's just way too dark for an actual blonde. Normally I would use this e.l.f. Um, wax pencil, but I have no need for that today. Because I'm using the other stuff. So let's get the billion dollar brows back out here. And um, go over this a little bit. Maybe I can lighten up that, that color I just put on. Now the pencil I just used to fill my brows in actually has a spoolie, but because this um, has its own spoolie, I might as well just use this. So I know a lot of creators don't do their brows on on um, screen, but mine don't take no time at all because they're nearly perfect. So I'll put that back in this box for now. All right, so. We are gonna align with the Pharmacy Express Metallic Cream. I'm just gonna put a little bit on today. Don't really need a lot. I'm not gonna tightly, I'm gonna do my water lines again. I'm just going to my brother's house. And really have no need for anything more. Now, again, I, like I said, I already used this stuff on my face yesterday, and since I'm on, I'm on a crunch time, it's 4.04 and I've got to be out of here in like 25 minutes, I didn't want to take time to put that moisturizer on and then try to do this, but I wasn't sure how quickly it would really dry in order to put makeup on top of it. <laughs> so, I think because it's Easter, we're going with the Venus 3 palette. Um, I might open up the the um, C note palette. I think Venus 3 is gonna, it's got a lot more pastel y colors in it. So we're going to pull out my Morphe and drop it. <laughs> All right. So, as I was saying, we're gonna pull out the Morphe M412. And we're gonna go in with beautiful color rapture here and I'm gonna put that as my all-over color and then I will go in with bliss for my crown I'll probably dream of my crease now quite a bit of product on there speed it off there's quite a bit of color payoff in that actually so You can definitely see the difference on my lids. That's a pretty color. Um, I'm going to go in with the other side. Same color. Now, while I'm talking to you guys about losses and families, um, in the link in my bio, well, the link of the description below is going to be a um, what you call it? A GoFundMe. This is for my sister. She is dying with lung, um, stage four lung cancer. Her and her son came down from South Carolina she, so they could visit with us and some other friends and family. Um, and she's only been given like six months to a year to live. When I got here, a few hours after they got to the hotel, she slipped and fell in the bathroom. She is wheelchair bound. And she didn't want to look at my nephew, so she took herself to the bathroom and um, ended up falling, breaking her femur on her right leg, I think, or left leg, I'm not all over. Um, she's been in the hospital um, in Orlando and in health um, since last Sunday, so a week now. Um, and then um, the same day when she went in the hospital, they found out she has COVID. And now yesterday they found that she's got, she's been waiting to have surgery on that leg 
but they found that she's got some sort of bacteria in her lungs. They haven't said what the bacteria is yet, probably still waiting on labs to come back, but um, in, the, in her, um, what you call it? In her GoFundMe, I've got listed down below, she's just looking for money for cremation. She's not looking for anything else. Um, so, um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but um, if you'd like to try and help, um, that would be awesome. I'm sure her and my nephew would have definitely appreciate it. She lost her husband last year to um, also lung cancer, I believe. No, prostate cancer, sorry. I had to think about it for a second, it's been a year. So just before COVID hit last year, on their one year anniversary, she lost him to prostate cancer. So um, I would, you know, would be grateful if you guys can pitch in. Um, if not, that's okay too. Perfectly fine. Uh, that's a bit dark. So I'm gonna grab the um, Morphe 524. I'm gonna blend this stuff out. It's beautiful colors. That second color I put on again was dreamy. I mentioned it a few minutes ago, but um, just in case you're asking or wondering, I should say. All right, so. Next color I want to go in with, after, after I cut my crease. Um, and to cut my crease, I use um, the Wet n Wild Multi Stick, the white stick. And what I do is, um, oops. And this one's a twisty. Is I go actually into my, above my crease with it. And then on my lid. So it looks, no, I can't say so it looks more natural, but just so it's not a bunch of extra products sitting there. Alright, so other side, same thing. This is when you can really get your extra shaping in there too if you want. Um, accentuate that wing or what have you. Sorry for flipping you guys off. What oh. my intention? Now my crease is somewhat cut. I know I'm not the best at cut creases, but so we're gonna put that over there, and then I really would like to use a little bit of Paradise, which is that beautiful purple. And then uh, maybe I'll go in there with um, Beam afterwards. So let's go in there with just a little bit of that beautiful purple. Knock that off, knock it off. All right, so the nice thing with cutting a crease with a white um, like gel type pencil is that if you go to put a real heavy color on, it doesn't come out that heavy. And you know guys, I'm not seeing a whole lot of fallout with these. So these are wonderful colors. I'll go back in here. Okay, let's stamp that on a little bit and then fill that in. Now that side wound up being a little darker than the other side, so. And a little bit more, then we'll blend it out with the uh, Morphe 524. So, let's blend these out a little bit. So now I think I'm going to use my fingers for beam. So I'm just going to go into the pan with beam. And right on top of paradise. There we go. So, um, mm. 
pretty is that? Okay, so a little bit more. You know, actually, I think I'm going to use my brush and actually put Beam Red on that lid. It's such a pretty color. Yeah. I really tone that Paradise Purple down nicely. There we go. Alright, so I really want to go with the tiniest little bit of Paradise under. Under my lash line. Alright, here we go. Now I do think now that my blush has had a chance to settle and I need some more blush. I don't like using a blush brush because I think this gives me more more control over what actually goes on my face. So Which I, I really like to be completely in control of my makeup. Um, I've never been a heavy makeup user. And um, so, there we go. Now, what do we got going on here? I guess no time like the present to try the rose water. Now what I normally have been using is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Spray. Um, but for the, because um, we're using my BoxyCharm stuff today, let's uh, spray this on then we'll put our mascara on. Say, here's my card here. You know, I really can't say what it smells like. It doesn't really smell like roses. You know, you're, you're expecting rose water, you're expecting something like your grandma would have worn. Um, <laughs> there it definitely would go. That's funny. So, um, eh. I'll find it when I least excited to, that's okay. Now for lipsticks. I don't have any lipsticks that came out of my, this month's boxy charm, so we're gonna dive into my lipsticks over here, and we're going to use one of my pharmacy samples that I have. Um, and uh, let's see what we have here. Oh no, and with, I think we're going with this rock, yeah. This is Hot Tahiti. Hmm. All right, so. The reason I'm using these instead of using regular lipstick is just I want to show anything you guys really haven't seen on camera yet. Eventually, I will find the top to my setting spray. It just totally disappeared. All right, so as I was saying earlier with the doe foot, the doe foot, enormous. And I'm going right on top. This smells so much like coconut. All right, so let's take my hair down. not fully dry I just washed it a couple hours ago but I just blow dried it before I did this video all right so my final thoughts so the eyeshadow colors are the bomb um the setting spray I don't have any problems with it now I didn't go in with any setting powders or anything like that again I'm just gonna go see family so really had no need for 
setting powders, or, but I do have them. Um, I have a lot of, a lot of um, stuff like that, but I wanted to go with mostly what I had here. You know, obviously I had to use one or two other little things, but um, so that is my Easter look for today. As you can see, I'm wearing a pastel pink shirt as well. Um, and I'll probably just wear a pair of sandals. Um, but yeah, so the, um, the Venus 3 eyeshadow palette is wonderful. Uh, you can look this up, I believe, right on their website. This is from the, from the DR, from the Dominican Republic. Um, but this is Lime Crime is the name of the company who makes it. Um, the um, Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. Again, it's got, a, it's got an interesting smell to it. It doesn't smell like roses. Um, I haven't been able to place the smell, what it actually smells like. It's different. But it dries nicely. It gives a nice luminosity to the face. I really didn't have to put any, really anything else on to the face after I put that on which was awesome. Um, there's the lid. Um, the um, KAB lip oil. Um, this is supposed to be uh, blue raspberry. It definitely doesn't have any blue raspberry scent to it at all. Um, but it does nicely. The only thing I will say is when you're when you're going to put this over lipstick, because I just noticed that my doe foot was dirty, maybe use your fingers instead. Um, the Hold and Control Clear Brow, clear brow Gel from um, Billion Dollar Brows. It's not bad. It's, it's going to hold you in place. Um, they don't... Actually, my brows kind of feel like I have a hairspray in them, which I don't. And then um, again, the uh, Banana Souffle Moisturizing Cream Glow Recipe. Um, this stuff I use, again, I used this yesterday. There we go. And um, it actually did quite well. It didn't break out from it. It didn't feel heavy. And again, it smells like banana pudding. So it's actually quite nice. Um, and um, the only thing I really didn't use, which maybe I'll put a little bit of green or something is my um, C-Note palette, um, and um, I didn't even wash my hands here. So maybe I will go on, let's go on my lid with Jungle, this beautiful blue color. I don't even know if it'll show up on top of this pretty purple or not. It's not bad. And that's the color I'm using right there. It's called Jungle. Okay. Nice little contrast. And I might even throw some Escape in there, which is this golden yellow. Alrighty, y'all. Oh my god. Places to be and stuff to do. So that was my final thoughts on this. I really think that for the money, BoxyCharm is the way to go. I mean, I held off for so long doing BoxyCharm and I finally said, why not? So I'm um, really glad I said why not. Again, I think that these boxes uh, for your first box, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a bonus. But these, um, like I did with this one, but I believe these boxes um, for your first box for that month, I believe they probably have boxes made up already. Um, that's probably not looking at your quiz too closely, other than to make sure they don't send you the wrong color foundation or something. Um, but, you know, it's a great concept. $138, actually, with the. Um, with the free pals, $171 of the products now pay $26.82 or something like that with tax. So it, it's, it's a great system. Um, some of the other ones, you don't get full-size products and that's kind of annoying. 
that's why I really wanted to go with the boxy charms. I know several YouTubers that actually get these monthly, and I love watching them, opening them. I finally like, okay, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. So, yeah. So that's your introductory to boxy charm. I'm not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by them. But I do think it's well worth your checking it out. So, um, happy Easter, everybody. Got my Easter look on. Time to go see some family and take some homemade macaroni and cheese with me. I'll post a picture here. Um, bye. Happy Easter Day.